All right, guys, so we've gone over the whiteboard. We've kind of shown what the plan was. And now you can see we have the, uh, the Missouri Wind and Solar Dual Renegade PMA is strapped down to the cart. Uh, we've got it leveled out uh, with the, uh, uh, you can see the bubble is perfectly in the middle. Um, we've got it, like, I guess set where uh, it's at the, the best cogging you can get, right? It's the most resistance is what it's going to take. I'll give you an example of that. If I just bump that up, you can see it bumps down. We haven't done anything other than just put it perfectly level. And you can see that the, uh, I'm going to put the level back on it. There we go, it's perfectly level. So here's the plan. I'm going to take, I've got a Craftsman 3 quarter inch uh, socket. Um, I've got uh, four nuts, large nuts, already preloaded in there. Um, I'll tell you what, I'll just take them out. And uh, I did that. Uh, I want to make sure that everybody knows what we're doing is completely on the up and up. So I'll put four of those nuts in there. I'm going to give them a little shake so that they're all in alignment. <clears throat> then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add them right here on the end, just like we did on the whiteboard. Okay. There we go. Now I'm going to set these nuts right here because I don't want to chase them around when they fall. So we have four inside, and I'm just going to start stacking these on top. So there's five, six, seven, eight. Looks like nine was the kicker, so it withheld eight, and uh, nine is what put it over the edge. Now, I know this isn't anything very scientific, right, because I'm not a very scientific guy. I'm just a redneck that lives out here uh, trying to figure all this stuff out. But, but we're fixing to find out um, what the difference is between this device and uh, the Thermodyne device. So they're both 24 volt, um, so we'll just see. So I'm going to put this stuff right here, and here's the deal. I was going to turn the camera off. But I said, you know what, somebody will say something um, that I did something that I cheated somehow. So what I decided to do is just leave the camera on. So fast forward right here if you want. Um, and uh, give me just a minute and we'll get this all uh, switched over. taking this off is because we're going to use the, uh, the same nuts, we're going to use the same bolts, and we're going to use the same PMA. Um, you know, I put that PMA on there because I figured somebody might say it was rigged too. So I put the PMA on at... Um, it's 11 foot pounds on my torque wrench. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's 11 pounds right there. So just to show. See it snap. So there we go. So this is the PMA that I've had up and running uh, for quite some time now here at my house. Okay. So here is the Thermodyne uh, PMA that they sent me. This is their uh, whoops. This is their uh, 5C24 AC PMA. So I'll strap this big bad boy down. So it can't move. Okay, just like we did on the uh, Missouri Wind and Solar, we're going to make sure it's perfectly level and uh, there's no way that it can be have any kind of a um, 
have a better opportunity for success. Okay. So here's the thermodyne. I'm going to probably put the uh, tub back on, huh? I'll tell you one thing I do like about the thermodyne so far is they've got that, looks like an Allen um, that's right up on the front. Um, it's pretty easy if you want to tighten it down. So same thing I got my uh, torque wrench. Okay, and then it pop. Set that to the side. Should be the exact same holes. Okay. All right. So now what we're going to do? Uh, let's see if we can get level. I think we have a problem. Okay, so the thermodyne, it still it still has cogging, right? It's just uh, there's not a lot of it there. Um, my problem is I can't put the level in the same place. I have it all the way up to the end. So I'm going to cheat in a little bit. I know that's cheating, but I don't know that I know what else to do. So that's the there's the preset load. Okay. So where we talked, you can see it bump. Do that. I turn the whole PMA so that it's kind of a preset. It's in the toughest position it can be, and it's dead center. Okay. So there we go. Same socket, same nuts. Um, I'm curious if I just put nuts on here. So there's one nut, two nuts, three nuts. I think we're off level now. Hmm. Let's do that again. Perfectly level. There's no way I can put the. There's just no way. If I put that on there, it's just going to fall. So I think what we're showing is that. I don't know that it's a bad thing, but. So we're dead center. I'm going to bump it a little bit. Let it fall back down to its hardened spot. We're on level.
One, two, three. Looks like four is the magic number. So I can't even get it to, with, with four nuts on there, I can't even get it to stay. So it wants to spin. So what that tells me is that the startup speeds for this PMA from Thermodyne uh, would be, the startup speeds would be lower than they would on the Renegade. Now, power output's a whole different deal, right? This is, they're both 24 volt. Um, what they're rated at, I don't know, but I can definitely tell you that, <clears throat> and I haven't had this PMA up in the air yet. We're, we're gonna have that uh, maybe tonight. It's, uh, it's almost nine o'clock, but I think I'm gonna go climb up a ladder 20 feet and put this thing on it. But, um, but I think we've done a pretty legitimate test to show that the cogging on a Missouri Wind and Solar, cogging being that little bumping that we saw, is definitely higher than what the Thermodyne 24 volt PMA is. Uh, like I said, I'm not saying what's right or wrong, it's just factual information for those people that are out there. The, the guys like me that are just trying to figure this out, um, I would say if you have low wind, then if you don't have high wind, and you have lots of low wind, then you would want a PMA that doesn't cog as much. And I think what we just proved out is that this particular one would probably be better in a lower wind situation. Since there's no resistance, right, the cogging would also be resistance once it gets to spinning, that you would get faster RPMs out of this PM, PMA than you would the Missouri Wind and Solar Dual Renegade PMA. That's just the way I see it. Some, I may be wrong, uh, but those are the facts as I see it. Uh, and how the logic kind of goes together for me. So if you have enough wind to sustain, I don't think there's any doubt that the, uh, that, that dual PMA would put out more power, but what kind of winds would you have to have to be able to sustain the speeds uh, needed to put out that kind of power? So I think that's really where we're at right now. So I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna close this video down, uh, and I am going to uh, Go put this on the tower. So again, we did the cogging test for the Missouri Wind and Solar uh, Renegade Super Dual PMA, and we did the cogging test for the Thermodyne. It's the 5C24AC 24 volt PMA. All right, guys, thanks.